So today we'll start with the urinary system of the cattle or ox. Okay. So all you know that urinary system mainly produces urine, and the urine contains the nitrogenous waste urea. Okay. So it is the excretory system of the animal. What are the organs you will find? The main organs you will find you will find one pair of kidneys, left and right kidneys you will find, one pair of ureters you will find. Then one single urinary bladder you will find, and one single urethra you will find. Clear? So in this picture you can see. So here you can see. So uh, this is the right kidney. This is the left kidney. Okay. These two are the ureters. So you will find kidneys, and kidneys are paired. Okay. So left kidneys, right kidneys, and ureters. Okay. The left and the right ureters, then urinary bladder. Okay, so this is the urinary bladder, single urinary bladder. Okay, and this is the urethra. So this is the urethra. So these are the main organs of urinary system of the cow. This is the rumen actually. So kidneys. So first we start with the organ kidneys. So kidneys are paired, lobulated, oval or bean shaped. Organ, clear. So they are paired. Left and right kidney you will find. We we'll discuss their lobulated lobes. You will find their oval or bean shaped. Okay. They are located in the upper cranial part of the abdominal cavity above the peritoneum. Okay. Okay. So this whole area is the abdominal cavity. In the upper cranial part. So this is the upper cranial part of the abdominal cavity. You will find the kidneys. Okay. And the very important point is that. Uh, the kidneys are present above the peritoneum. Means what you will find uh, means uh, here, means below. So here you will find the peritoneum. So here you will find the peritoneum, and above the peritoneum, the kidneys are present. So first we start with the ox kidneys. Okay. So if you see ox kidney, so superficially divided into polygonal lobes. Okay, you can see very clearly. So these are the polygonal loops superficially they are divided into polygonal loops okay and the loops are separated by fissures or or depth and the, the depth will vary these are the fissures so these are the fissures okay these are the fissures these are the fissures clear then normal each kidney will find 20 loops you will find and the loops vary in the size and the fissures are filled with the fat. So what here you will find? So, so these are basically filled with the fat. So in this fissure what happens? So you will find the deposition or they are filled with the fat. The right kidney elongated and elliptical dorsoventrally flattened. Uh, right kidney, we are looking the lateral view of the right side. Okay, right hand. So this is the right kidney. So it is dorsoventrally flattened means this is the dorsal part. Okay, the dorsal part is flattened, and the ventral part, if you see, the ventral part also flattened. So the kidney is dorsal ventrally flattened. The position ventral to the last rib and first to second or sometimes third lumbar transverse process. If you see, so this is the ribs. So this is the last ribs. Okay, this is the proximal end of the last rib. So the ventral to this, so the ventral to the proximal end of the last rib, and ventral to the transverse process of suppose this is the first second third and fourth okay so ventral to this transverse process you will find uh, the right kidney okay uh, these are the transverse processes of the lumbar vertebra extremities or the end may extend to the first to fourth lumbar transverse processes suppose this is the uh, one okay so uh, one two three and four means up to this area Okay, so up to first to fourth extremity uh, lumbar transverse processes, the ends of the kidney may extend. And the very important point is that you see the right kidney. Okay, the right kidney can be palpated, means you can feel, you can, but uh, if you touch the paralumbar fossa in a live cow, you can feel, you can touch the right kidney. Okay, because it is dorsally present and superficially present okay so 
you can see also so this is the abdominal cavity so this is the whole abdominal cavity so it is just present at the superficial so in this area you will find paralumbar fossa you will find okay so this is the area of the paralumbar fossa so in the live animal if you touch in this area so you can feel the right kidney because it is present very superficially and the dorsal part of the abdominal cavity now we we'll discuss about the surfaces of the right kidney so there are two surfaces of the right kidneys okay dorsal surface and ventral surface so now in this picture in this diagram we are looking at the the dorsal surface of the kidney okay so the dorsal surface is rounded okay and it remains contact with the sublumbar muscles actually what happen actually here means in this area so these are the uh, transverse processes of the lumbar vertebra okay so here what you will find so here you will find the sublumbar muscles so below that you will find the sublumbar muscles you will find so these suppose these are the sublumbar muscles okay so the kidney remains in contact with the sublumbar muscles now next we discuss the ventral surface so you can see this is the ventral surface the ventral view of the right kidney okay the ventral view of the right kidney the ventral surface is less convex okay and related to the liver pancreas duodenum and colon means in the surrounding area of the ventral surface here what you will find you will find liver pancreas duodenum and colon now borders very important so what are the borders okay normally the right kidney has our kidney has two borders medial and lateral okay so this border so this border is the medial border this one is the medial border okay So the medial border is nearly straight. Okay, very nearly straight. So this is the medial border. You can see this is the medial border. The medial border nearly straight. It lies parallel to the caudal vena cava. You can see. So this is the caudal or posterior vena cava. Okay. So the medial border is almost straight, and it remains parallel to the caudal or posterior vena cava. Then we discuss about the lateral border. Okay. So lateral border. So this is the lateral border. If it is medial border, if it is medial border, so this will be the lateral border. So this is the lateral border. Okay, lateral border is convex. Now the two ends extremities. Okay, so this is the proximal end or cremial ex extremities. Okay, so here what you will find, you will find impression for the liver. So in the proximal extremity, you will find canal impression for liver. this capped by adrenal body so here you will find the adrenal gland okay in the cranial extremity if you see the caudal extremities so this is so these are the caudal extremities so it is rounded and free next we discuss about the hilus okay so this is the left kidney this is the right kidney we are discussing about right kidney so hilus is the area of uh, hilus is the area of the kidney where what happen uh, so, uh, this is the hilus area this is the hilus area of the right kidney This is the hilus area of the left kidney. Okay, so from uh, hilus, what happens? The ureter will exit from the kidney. Okay, then the renal artery will enter here. Okay, and renal vein will exit from here. So this is the hilus of the right kidney. So it is present on the medial part of the ventral surface near medial border. Okay, so this is the medial border. Okay, and the cranial part and somewhat on the ventral side. So you will find this hilus of the right kidney then we'll discuss about the left kidney okay so left kidney if you see okay now uh, in this picture so this is actually the right kidney this is the right kidney and this one is actually the left kidney this is the left kidney okay so normally you will find unusual position of the left kidney it will vary the position will varies okay so uh, this is the left kidney but in this picture you are looking to the right view actually okay right view okay normally it is uh, normally it should uh, be found on the left side but in this picture you are looking uh, the left kidney on the right side what what happened so this is the rumen so this is the hole is the rumen this hole is the rumen when the rumen is full okay it pushes the kidney caudally and across the medial plane okay what happen actually so when the rumen is full okay the actually this is the normal position actually you can see this one okay 
तो दिस इज द नॉर्मल पोजिशन ऑफ द किडनी एक्चुअली वेन द रूमेन इज फुल इट इज पुसिंग द किडनी इट इज पुसिंग द किडनी ओके तो नाउ वॉट एपन तो इट विल पुसेस किडनी ऑडाली एक्रॉस मेडियन प्लेन ओके सो नाउ द किडनी इज मूविंग लाइक दिस ओके किडनी इज मूविंग लाइक दिस ओके तो नाउ इट इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द राइट साइड ओके कॉडाल एंड वेंट्रल टू द राइट किडनी तो दिस इज द राइट किडनी तो नाउ यू कैन सी द पोजिशन इज ऑन द तो वेन द रूमेन इज फुल वेन द रूमेन इज फुल द पोजिशन ऑफ किडनी इज ऑन द राइट साइड इज ऑन द राइट साइड ओके एंड वेंट्रल टू द राइट किडनी एंड बिहाइंड द राइट किडनी again i'm repeating when the rumen is full it pushes the kidney broadly and across the median plane so that uh after pushing the left kidney is on the right side okay broadal and ventral to right kidney so let me clear this okay so you can see clearly here the location of the kidney so when the rumen is full so now uh, this is the a displaced position of the kidney okay means it is uh, behind the right kidney and caudal to the right kidney and it is present on the right side actually right side and lies ventral to third fourth and fifth lumbar vertebrae but when the rumen is empty so normal position okay when the rumen is empty so may lie partly left of the median plane so this is the median plane suppose so this is the median plane okay so here is the location you can see this is the normal position when the rumen is empty may lie, uh, may lie partly left of the median plane we discuss the surfaces of the uh, left kidney so there are three surfaces of the left kidney first dorsal surface so so this is the dorsal surface here you can see and this is the dorsal surface view can see one of the view we can see for sure so it is convex and hilus is present here so hilus on the craniolateral part opens laterally so on the craniolateral part open laterally here you will find the hilus okay then if you see the ventral surface okay so this is the ventral surface of the kidney from the ventral view students actually we are discussing a 3d model i have taken the picture of a 3d model different angle so now uh, this picture is taken from the ventral view of the your left kidney so this surface is the ventral surface it is mostly uh, related to the intestine now come to the very important point the ruminal surface ruminal surface is the surface of the left kidney so you, you see actually i have removed some part of the rumen here because in this part what happen this surface remains in contact okay so this is the ruminal surface so it is the part or surface of the left kidney which remains in contact with the rumen okay so this is the ruminal surface you can see this is the ruminal surface so this part remains in contact with the rumen so this part remains in contact with the rumen okay so flattened by contact with the rumen clear yeah? means this this part this entire area this area to the ruminal surface and in this diagram the uh, this part of the left kidney remains in contact with the rumen so becomes flattened okay now we'll discuss about the borders okay so there are three borders you will find uh, medial border lateral and the ventral border you will find okay first come to the medial border so this one is the medial border obviously so this is the medial border so it is found between the dorsal and the ventral surfaces okay if you see uh, in this diagram this is the medial border okay but here if you see so this is the uh, dorsal surface and this side will be the ventral surface this side ventral surface so between the dorsal surface and ventral surface so this border so this border is the medial border this is the medial border of the left kidney bit present between the dorsal surface and the ventral surface clear so basically uh, it becomes what so cranially this part is the convex 
and then it become the concave okay then only this parts uh, somewhat convex then it becomes concave so here it is concave then the lateral border lateral border it is slightly con convex so so this one actually so this one is the lateral border present between the dorsal surface and the ruminal surface you can see so this surface remains in contact with the rumen this is the dorsal surface so between them these two so it is that border so this is that border okay so it is the lateral border so slightly convex lies between the dorsal and the ruminal surface now the very important is the ventral border okay so ventral border is the very important okay so it is convex between the ventral and the ruminal surface so now you can see so this is the ruminal surface so this is the ruminal surface that remains in contact with the rumen and this one is the ventral surface ventral surface so this border so this border is the your ventral border so there are three border medial lateral and the ventral border so this is the ventral border so this is the convex okay this one is the ventral border so this is the ventral border okay this present between the ruminal surface it remains in contact with the rumen and this is the ventral surface so this border so this border is the actually your ventral border here 